In this video, we're going to be checking out problem number 25 on the 2019 Math Count School Sprint Round. Kurumi starts on, on the lily pad at location A and moves to the lily pad at location B with a series of hops made only to adjacent lily pads while traveling along the dash segments as shown. So we're only moving along the lines. We can't go from like, like we can't go if like A is over here and we have another point over here. We can't go like this. We can only move along the line. So we can go this, 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 this. But then we have some more things that we need to worry about. If Kermi uses the fewest possible number of hops, how many ways are there, there for him to get from location A to location B? In this problem, we only move, we're either moving right or down. At the end, we do move up, though, and I'm going to explain why. When we're doing the fewest possible number of hops, it doesn't make sense to, let's say, if we go down, then we go to the right, and then we go up. That's just a waste of time. We can just go like this, and then we're, that's just one. Like, if we have, like, I'm going to, look. let's say we have the last grid here. If we're on the last grid, and if we go some, and we need to get from, let's say, Let's say this is like point K, need, and let's say B was over here. I'm not saying this is the actual thing. K to B, we could go just straight, and that would be our choice. But we can also go here, 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 and then hit it like that. Or we could go here, and then like stop and go back. And that that's just a waste of time. So we're either going, as you can see, we're going so that we can have the fewest possible number of hops. So... An example would be just going straight until you reach the point. Only doing what you need is what it means. How many ways are there for him to get from location A to location B? So we're going to split up this problem into three separate grids. If you can see, we have a massive grid problem over here, grid counting problem. We want to split it up into three separate grids. So we have grid the cutoff over here, we have a square grid, we have another square grid, and then we have another square grid. Each one gets decreasingly small. So I'm going to tackle grid one first. Grid 1, we start at A, so we go 1, 2, 3, 3 down, 1, 2, 3, to the right, so we have 6 total options and 6 choose 3 ways from, get to get in, from getting to A to this point right here. Now let's move on to grid 2. Grid 2 is this square right here. Now, a couple, like, seconds ago, or one minute ago, I explained how we, we don't go something, we don't do something like this. That's not allowed. We'll, we're, when we're not doing something like this, let's take a look at this grid. We're starting at the top, but we want to reach here if we're going to go over there. So right now, we want to reach this cutoff point. How can we do that? Well, we can't go unnecessarily up. So there's, there's only one way to get from here to here if we're following the rules. 6 choose 3, g2 is 1. Since we're not allowed to do this, or this, that's not allowed. Now let's go from here to here. From here to B, we have, we have two choices. We can just list it out like this. Visually, you can see, or we can use our trick. We see we are going one right, one up. We will we have two ways, two options, and we're choosing one. So this is two, choose one, or just two. Now, all we need to do is compute six, choose three, which is six times five times four over three factorial. 3 and the 2 cancel the 6. We have 5 times 4, which is 20. Now our total ways will just be 20 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 2. Since all of the 20 ways here, there's one more way here that can be paired with this. And then for every way here, there's two more ways to be paired with that way. So this is 20 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 2. 20 multiplied by 1 is 20. 20 multiplied by 2. is 40. 
And so our answer is 40 ways to get from point A to point B. And we split up our, our massive complicated grid into three separate sections and then we multiplied at the end. And that's going to be your strategy for all these grid counting problems. Whenever you have some complex grid that you don't know how to handle, try to split it up into a simpler problem and split it up into smaller cases like we did over here. So yeah, that is, that is the solution to the 2019 Math Count School Sprint Round problem number 25.